Okay, so write this question down into your book, please. And then we're going to do it together, but we can do it with full working. Okay, so step one. You've got plus 4x on that side and 5x on this side. Like if you were representing that with a balancing thing, that means that you would have five um, you would have five unknown x's like boxes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and we don't know how many. They're all equal size in that side, and four on this side. Plus you'd have six little smarties here. And here you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. Okay? So what you need to do is you need to get rid of all of the X's. So get rid of all the X on um, the right side. And in order to get rid of all the X's on the right side, we take 4X away. Now if I take 4X away on that side, I need to take 4X on that side, the other side. So I take 4X away on the other side. So what I have left, you might notice here, I have one box plus six Smarties. And on the other side, the 4x has disappeared. See? So I took it away. 5 minus 4 gives you 1x. Plus 6 equals 7. And then your next step is to get rid of the 6. So you go minus 6 minus 6. The 6s go out. And you get 1x, which is x, will equal 7 minus 6, which actually gives you 1. You could also check this, see, 5 times 1 plus 6, does that equal 4 times 1 plus 7? 5 ones are 5 plus 6, 4 ones are 4 plus 7. Is that true? 5 plus 6 is 11, 4 plus 7 is 11. So yeah, it is indeed true. Okay, let's look at the next one. Alright, so we need to get rid of this 4x on this side. That's a plus 4x. So basically... Basically, you need to take away 4x. If you do it on one side, you do it on the other. But remember, you line it up underneath the x's because it's like collecting like terms. You, you, the x's go with the x and the numbers with the numbers. 9 minus 4x. 9 minus 4x is 5x. Take this 3x, 3 and write it down the bottom. Take the equals, write it down the bottom. Take the plus 22 and then write 22 there. You could write plus, but you don't really need it because it's a positive number. Positive numbers, we don't always write the plus in front. Okay, so now we've got to get rid of the thing furthest away from the x. So we have a times five, a minus three here. That would be plus three on both sides because this just comes like a two-step equation which you know how to solve. They cancel. Five times x is five x. 22 plus three is 25. And then you go, you've got times 5. So you go divide by 5, divide by 5. The 5s go out. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay, and we'll just look at one more here. So with this one here, on the right-hand side, see how that sign goes with that 3x? That is a minus. In front of the 17 is a plus. So the sign in front's the sign that goes with it. It's plus 7x minus 3 plus 17, and it's minus 3x. So the opposite to minusing 3x now is plus 3x. But if I do it to that side, I have to do it to the other side, and I make sure that I could put the x under the x. The 3x's go out. 7 plus 3x is 10x. Okay, rewrite everything else. So I'm going minus 3 equals 17 and the three axes have cancelled out so we're all good there okay now we've got to get rid of the three so that's a minus three so i go plus three plus three because the three is furthest away from the x they cancel 10x equals 17 plus three is 20. now i have to get rid of the 10 so it's times 10 so you go divide by 10 divide by 10 x equals 20 divided by 10, which is 2. 